Good morning, Brethren of Holy Joy Church Incorporated UAE, our branches in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Ajman, and Moon Church in Sharjah, all the members of Berea Academy Middle East here in United Arab Emirates and Berea Academy Malaysia in Kaningaw and Kota Kinabalu, Sabah East Malaysia, and members of Holy Joy Church Incorporated, Duha, Qatar. All Berean pastors, ministers, pastors in training who are now watching this live streaming, I say Shabbat Shalom. So again, we are now in uh, this Sabbath day today and our theme for our preaching is the Christ who is to come. And I will be preaching about the Son of Man came. So let us pray. Father God, thank you, Father, that you have planned from eternity past to send your only begotten Son who came from the bosom, your bosom, O Abba Shiba Shammai, to send to us here in Hades. I declare, I decree, Lord, that we have received the grace of salvation from your Son and that we are now toward your kingdom in the new Jerusalem. I pray, Father, that in the mighty name of our living Yah, Yeshua, Messiah, you have sent billions and legions of angels, angels the destroyers, ministering angels of God, warring angels of God, angels of assignment, who are assigned to us and to this pastoral center where this live streaming originates right now. They are now taking their position from the rooftop to the foundation of this building so that the devil and his agents cannot touch this place in the mighty name of our living Yah, Yeshua HaMaseya. I declare, O Lord, that as I speak, you will use my mind, my heart, and my tongue, my mouth, so that the words you want me to speak will reach and will be heard by your people even those who have been invited by members of Holy Joy Church Incorporated UAE and Holy Joy Church Incorporated Duha Qatar to be with us in this live streaming in the mighty name of our living Yah, Yeshua Hamasaya, I pray, Amen. So can we open our Bible? And we go to Luke chapter 4, verses 40 to 44. Many healed after Sabbath sunset. Verse 40, when the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick were various diseases brought them to him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Verse 41, and demons, of all, who, and demons also came out of many, crying out and saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he, rebuking them, did not allow them to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. Verse 42, Now when it was day, he departed and went into a deserted place. And the crowd sought him and came to him and tried to keep him from leaving them. Verse 43, But he said to them, I must preach the kingdom of God to the other cities also, because for this purpose I have been sent. And verse 44, And he was preaching in the synagogues of Galilee. Amen? So, introduction, God is an awesome God. He sent His Son, Yeshua Hamasaya, to the world for a great work and purpose that not even angels can accomplish. Even though the Bible tells us about angels, it was not recorded for their glory, even though it contains stories about people who lived a great faith the stories were never recorded for them. The Bible speaks only of the Son, Yeshua 
Hamasea. Through his afflictions in the world, the Lord Yeshua Hamasea was building a temple where he would stay. His word in John chapter 2 verse 9 destroyed this temple and I will raise it again in three days suggests that after his body would be torn harrowingly, shedding blood, he would be raised gloriously and ascend to the glorious throne where he would be called holy forever. Amen? So first point, Yeshua's life ransoms many. God felt compassion towards the world, not because people need material things, nor because horrible wars continuously broke out here and there, nor because he felt troubled seeing the strong plunder the weak, but only because he could not find any holiness in the world. Amen? As the world was being filled with unhappy people and those who tried desperately to seek it, God felt compassionate to the world and through His Son sent something which the world did not have. And these are holiness and righteousness. Amen? This place where the devil and ruler of this world was also the place where, in contrast, God was at its best. That was the time Yeshua Hamasea here in Hades or the world where we are in right now shed blood to redeem the name of God. Satan blasphemed in heaven, destroyed the devil's work, and liberated man from sin. Amen? The Son of God who became the Son of Man by being 100% God and 100% man was able to accomplish the will of the Father by His death on the cross as He expressed in Matthew 20 verse 28. Matthew 20 verse 28, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give His life a ransom for many. Yan po. Hindi po siya pumunta para magpaserve. But siya mismo nagserve sa mga nagkasakit. Pinagaling niya. May mga demonyo. Pinalayas niya. At yung hindi nakakarinig at hindi nakakilala sa ating Diyos na buhay. Siya po ang ginamit ng Diyos Ama to introduce God the Father in heaven who sent Him. That's why every time He speaks, He always mentioned the one who sent me. Who would be born into the world for the only purpose of dying and being cursed? All humans are born each with his or her own charge to be the firstborn, to inherit or to continue the family line, but the Lord Yeshua Hamasea was born to die, and he did so in accordance with God's will. So lahat na ipanganak, lalo na sa mga anak ng mga hari, ano ang gusto nila? Anak lalaki, so that mayroong mag- uh, palo na magiging hari, may maka-inherit. Pero ang Panginoon, hindi po pumunta dito sa Hades or the, this world to do the same. Ano ang pinuntan niya dito? He came to die and to resurrect and to enter <coughs> the kingdom of he heaven. <coughs> the Lord, Yeshua Hamasaya, came as the servant of afflictions. He humbly went up to the hill of death, following God's will, not holding any grudge against humans. He committed his will to God when he breathed his last, saying to an evil doer hung next to him, 
you will be in paradise with me today. Amen? He looked like a triumphal king. Even when he died, he clarified the essence of the gospel by proclaiming that one could easily enter the kingdom of heaven through him. The Bible says the easiest way to enter the kingdom of heaven is to do the will of God which the Son has perfectly obeyed for us. Amen? Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 I never knew you. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Kaya, yung hindi, tinanggap mo ang Panginoon, hindi naman tayo nag-obey sa Panginoon, patuloy pa rin ang buhay ng dati, hindi po tayo maligtas. Ano ang sabi dito? Only those who do the will of my Father in heaven. Very specific po ang sinasabi sa Matthew chapter 7 verse 21. Amen? Second point, seek for the lost sheep. The Bible says, the Son of Man came to save that which was lost. He came into flesh as a God incarnate it was God's plan, God's diagnosis, and God's will, not humans. In the flesh, Yeshua Messiah experienced death and shed blood to redeem the name of God, destroy the devil's work, and liberated man from the law of sin and death. Amen? Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, And according to the law, Almost all things are purified with blood and without shedding of blood. There is no remission. Amen? Had He not come into flesh, Yeshua HaMasiah would not have shed blood and consequently He could not have saved us. Amen? Therefore, God's absolute method for salvation of humans was incarnation. There is no other way. He chose incarnation to come down so that we will be able to receive salvation from God the Father. God had to come in the flesh in order to die. He did so because unless he dies, there was no other way to save humans. Amen? By his death, all the lost souls were found and brought back to his sheepfold. In many occasions, when Yeshua HaMasiah were dining with sinners and tax collectors, the Pharisees and scribes questioned him for doing so. But he said that for this purpose, was he sent by the Father not to search for the will, but for the sick. Amen? Hindi po siya pumunta dito para hanapin ang maayos na. Ang hinanap niya, yun pong may sakit na inulila ng mga demonyo. They were oppressed by the devil. That's why yan po ang hinanap niya. So nakita natin, ano ang ginawa ng Panginoon? Preach the gospel because the word of God will sink in into our soul so that that soul who receives the word of God will be able to subject himself or herself to the will of the Father. They will submit to Yeshua Messiah for the casting of demon and they will be laid hands by him so that they will be healed. Amen? Kaya hindi po tayo pwedeng preach na preach lang. Preaching lang ba ang ginawa ng Panginoon? Nagpalayas ng demonyo. Ano pang ginawa niya? nag hands upang ang mga tao ay mag, ma, ang mga tao ay gagaling. Amen? Ngayon, marami akong nakita during the altar call, hindi man nilapitan ang mga members 
generally sinasabi na lang ng preacher na let yourself receive healing, receive this solution of the problem. Yan ba ang ginawa ng Panginoon? Ang Panginoon nag-preach ng gospel, He laid hands on the sick, and He cast out the demons. When He sent the twelve, and He sent later on the seventy disciples, yan po ang utos ng Panginoon. Go and preach the gospel of the kingdom, lay hands on the sick, cast out the demons, and resurrect the dead. Apat po ang inutos niya. Amen? So, by his death, all the lost souls were found and brought back to the sheepfold of the Father. Mark chapter 2, verses 2, 16 to 17. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eating with the tax collectors and sinners, they said to his disciples, how is it that he eats and drinks with tax collectors and sinners? Verse 17, When Jesus heard it and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician. But those who are sick, I did. I did not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. So yan po ang purpose niya. That's why God sent ahead of him John the Baptizer to pave the way for the coming of the Lord. That's why John the Baptizer preached to the people and led them to the baptism of repentance. Gusto po ng Panginoon magrepent tayo. Hindi po tayo pwedeng magsabi lang, Lord, I'm sorry. Is that repentance? Hindi. Kaya after ilang buwan, bumalik na naman sa dating kasalanan. Why? Because it, has, it is not repentance we are doing, but only expressing our, uh, our desire na tayo ay patawarin. But yan po ba ang binigay ng Panginoon? Hindi. Sabi niya, He came, <coughs> ibalik ko, Mark chapter 2 verse 17. Sabi niya, the when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician. But those who are sick, I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Tinawag niya ang mga makasalanan to repentance. Sino ba ang may kasalanan? Lahat. Wala pong perfecto. Only Yeshua Masya is the perfect model of God. Amen? Calling and forgiving the sinners is the great salvation. Yun po ang tinatawag nating salvation. Salvation is that which one cannot exchange one's life for, that which one cannot possibly get by efforts. Even if humans had the power to raise the dead, they still could not obtain salvation given by grace. Amen? Binuhay. Ngunit kung hindi natin tanggapin ang Panginoon at mag sa ating mga ginagawang kasalanan and susunod sa Panginoon, hindi po natin matanggap yan. Sinasabi natin, salvation. It's a process. Amen? Even salvation is to invade the kingdom o heaven. Ang pagtanggap natin ng salvation, we want to storm the kingdom of heaven. Gusto natin pasukin. Yan ang purpose na tayo ay nasave. Gusto natin pasukin ang dwelling place ng Panginoon. Gusto natin i-invade so that we will become the children of the kingdom of God. And finally, capture it. How will we capture Paano natin i-capture? Kung tayo ay nakapasok and we are now in we are now invited to the wedding feast of God. Palagi nating sinasabi na may wedding feast. E paano ba tayo maka-attend sa wedding feast? If e tayo dito pa lang sa lupa 
ayaw nating sumunod ng Diyos. Amen? For glory's sake, we have to capture the kingdom of God. Those who win the war will occupy the kingdom of God. It is a war. Diba? Kaya tayo hinirang ni Lord na mga warriors dahil sino bang ating kaaway? Si Satanas po. Si Satanas po ang ating kaaway. So we have to dis destroy every time na may ginagawa ang kaaway, hindi tayo pwede na mag-take lightly. We have to destroy the works of the kingdom dahil that is exactly the reason why Yeshua Masyak came to earth to destroy the devil's work. Amen? In this lovely and splendid war, God allows us to penetrate and makes provision of many thrones for the winners. Therefore, God's weakness becomes salvation for humankind. Ano ang weakness ni Lord? Weakness niya is to love us so that we will be able to come back to His sheepfold. Na tayo ay makabalik. Yan lang po ang gusto ng Panginoon. Ang weakness ng Panginoon now becomes salvation for humankind. It becomes our strength. Amen? In Colossians chapter 1 verse 25, of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God which was given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Amen. Amen. By disclosing the will of the plan of salvation to invaders of the heavenly kingdom, God made it possible for humans to occupy it. Yeshua Masaya let humans impress on him through flogging and made him confess that he was the king with a secret. Doon po yan, nagumpisa, nung tinanong siya ni, ni Pontius Pilate before the praetorium, ano ang sinabi niya? Are you the king of the Jews? Anong sabi niya? You said it. You said it. So anong sabi niya? Ay sinabi mo. Tapos nung tinanong pa siya, hindi na siya sumagot. Ano lang ang sinagot niya? Nung sinabi na siya ay ang hari. Amen? Walang iba. Hindi po siya nagpunta na, nagpunta ako dito para i-destroy ang devil's work. I am the king. Yan lang po ang sinasabi niya. Why? He wants us to go back to the king. Amen? Yeshua Hamasaya enables us to know Matthew 27, 11. Now Jesus stood before the governor and the governor asked him saying, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said to him, It is as you say. See? Kinonfirm niya. His confession of being a king brought great hope to humans to obtain the secret of salvation. Wala pong nakakaalam na may salvation palang hinanda ang Panginoon sa pamagitan na kanyang gasa sa atin kung matalo niya si Satanas. Amen? Wala po. Nakakaalam. Amen? Third point, serve to call sinners. As I said earlier, Yeshua Hamasaya did not come to the world to be served, but He came to serve. Amen? Kaya tayo, hindi po tayo utos na utos. Tayo ang mag-serve. Hindi po na tayo ang mag-request na para ma-serve. Hindi po ganyan. Ang pinakita na modelo ng ating Diyos, Siya po, ang nagpunta to serve, not to be served. The Bible tell us numerous accounts of the Lord Yeshua Messiah serving to call the sinners. He did not spend time with the well, but the sick. Ang may mga sakit. Ano ba ang sakit ng tao? Kasalanan. Makasalanan ang tao. Kaya yun po, ang kasalanan natin na nagpapa... Na, 
naglagay sa atin sa kamay ni Satanas, yun po ang gustong putuli ng Panginoon upang our body, our soul, our spirit will be well in the eyes of God. Amen? Mark 10.45 For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give His life a ransom for many. Amen? When God created man, He made him a perfect creation until the devil tempted them to sin and corrupted them all together. Perfecto po ang tao. When God created us, we were a perfect model of creation. May katawan, may kaluluwa, and may espiritu na nanggaling mismo sa ating Diyos na buhay. God subjected them to the law to expose that man is sinners. And as sinners, they are doomed to eternal damnation. Adam and Eve were put in the Garden of Eden to attend and keep it. Yan po ang purpose. Bakit nilipat sila? Kinuha sila ng Panginoon mula sa lugar na doon ang mga spiritless people. Dahil binigyan siya ng Espiritu ng Diyos, He now created Adam as a spiritual being. Dinala niya doon sa Garden of Eden para masipare. Kaya tayo po, hindi tayo pwedeng makipagbarkada sa mga unbelievers. Amen? Maghawa-hawa po ang mga Espiritu. And for all we know, darating ang araw na tayo ay ganun na rin, katulad na rin, na rin sa ugali. Amen? They were also commanded, ano, Genesis 2.15, Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. Anong trabaho nila? Itaker nila ang garden of Eden. Walang ibang trabaho. But, They were also commanded not to eat the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. This command is to give them their spiritual food. But both commands fell into deaf ears. Sa dalawang utos ng Panginoon, Adam, alagaan mo ang Garden of Eden. Anong pangalawan niyang utos? Ayan. Pwede niyong kainin lahat ng mga andito, ng mga prutas, except sa prutas from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Pero lahat na utos niya ng dalawa, hindi po nagampanan ni Adam at ni Eve. They missed the target of keeping the Garden of Eden and obeying the Word of God. Yan po, hindi nila nagawa. And missing the target is what we call sin. Palagi lang tayong nagsabi, kasalanan, kasalanan. Ano ba talaga ang kasalanan ng tao? We miss the target. Anong target ni Lord? Pumasok tayo sa kanyang kaharian bilang anak niya. But we miss the target when Adam and Eve committed sin. Amen? We miss the target. It became the sin of Adam and Eve. And they became slaves to sin and slaves to the devil and the tempter. Amen? Genesis chapter 2, 16-17 And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, You shall surely die. Amen? Tandaan natin, we miss the target. Ano ang target, sabi ni Lord? Alagaan ang Garden of Eden. Ano pa? Huwag kumain <coughs> sa prutas ng tree of knowledge of good and evil. Amen? So, Adam and Eve sinned and all humans Where in the loins of the first Adam, when man turns his back on God and befriended the devil. Amen? Yan po, nag-umpisa ang problema. Hence, human beings are all sinners. 
You and me, we are all sinners. None is perfect. Amen? When the Son of Man came to the world, the plan of God from eternity past is to destroy the devil's work had led to the salvation of man. Naglid lang po siya. Dahil when Yeshua HaMasiyah died on the cross, His blood cleanses all our sins. Kaya, He destroyed the devil's work, but at the same time, ang kanyang kamatayan nagiging gift of salvation ng mga anak ng Diyos. At we became back the children of God. Yet, only those who knows the Son of Man and believe in His name will be saved. Wala pong pinili ang Diyos. Nung siya po died on the cross, He died for everyone. But hindi po siya automatic. We have to receive Him. Lord, gusto kong bumalik sa iyo. Hindi ko na kaya, Panginoon. Sobra po ang mga problema. Inatake ako ni Satanas. I want to go back to you. Amen? When we ask Him, natulungan tayo because we want to come back to God, then that would be the time that the salvation that He did for mankind, we will receive it. Kaya I repeat, only those who know Yeshua HaMasiah and believe in Him can enter the kingdom of God can receive salvation and can be awarded with eternal eternal life. Amen? Madali lang sabihin yan. Ay, makatanggap kami ng eternal life. Tanungin natin sarili natin, are we ready? Have we done our our work? May work tayo eh. Ano ang work natin? To obey God. To follow Him. To follow His precepts and His commands to obey the Word of God so that we will be able to completely receive the gift of salvation and eternal life with waiting for us in the new Jerusalem, the heavenly dwelling place of God. Amen? The Lord, Yeshua HaMasiah, gave His life. Whoever needed it, he promised to give limitless provision of His strength to those who wanted. Kaya hindi ko nga maintindihan na marami akong naririnig. Nag-attend ako noon ng isang pastoral conference. Pinapatistimony ang bawat mga pastor na dumating doon. Naku, Diyos ko, walang tumayo na nagsabi na, Thank you, Lord, for providing me. Thank you, Lord, for protecting me. Lahat umiyak sa harapan namin dahil wala na daw silang kakainin. Ang mga anak nila hindi daw mabilhan ng gamot. Ano yan? Sabi ko, bakit? Di ba? When we serve the Lord, the Lord has taken us into His arms as His children. Kung anak tayo ng Diyos, pabayaan ba tayo ng Diyos? Hindi po. Kaya kung magka-problema tayo, ano ba ang meron? Meron tayong hindi ginawa para sa karian ng Panginoon. Nagpakamatay namatay ng Diyos, ha? <coughs> Pinako siya ng cross, ngunit ang kamatayan niya is intended for everyone, but not all are interested, are willing to receive Him as Lord and Savior, and they are taking lightly the gift of salvation. Akala nila, sabi mo, Lord, ikaw na ang aking Lord and Savior. Sumunod ka ba? Sumunod ka ba? Yan po ang tanungin natin ng ating mga salir sarili. Tapos, kung magproblema, magsabi, ay, ang aming pastor kasi, ganito, ganyan. Naku, Pastor pa ang gaw gawin ninyong reason. Wala namang wala namang mangyayari sa atin. Gawa natin 'yan. It is of our own making. Sinabi ko rin 'yan last preaching ko. 
our own making. Kung ano ang ginagawa natin, yun talaga ang mangyayari. Amen? Hindi tayo sumusunod. Hindi tayo mag-type. Alam mo, ganito po ang natutunan ko sa Panginoon. Hindi ka ngayon mag-ubay. Ay, anyway, okay lang. Okay lang naman ang buhay ko. So, bakit ako mag -tight? Sayang. Pagbayad ko na lang sa aking credit card. Pag mag-action ang Panginoon, pag may gagawin ang Panginoon, dahil hindi niya nagustuhan ang ating ginagawa, hindi yan katulad ng sili. Diba? When we use the chili, by the time na pipisain natin yung chili, ilagay natin sa ating mixture of tuyo and suka, makita natin pag ginamit natin. Ano? May anghang. Hindi po ganan. Hindi po ganyan. Unti-untiin ka. Unti-untiin ka until by that time maramdaman mo na ang anghang, talagang maanghang ang buhay. Wala ka nang mapuntahan. Ayan po. Hindi po yan katulad ng chili na, ay, hindi man, kumplito lang man ako. I am still having excellent work. I am still receiving. O, tingnan mo ngayon ang COVID. O, lahat na gulantang. Lahat na bigla. Why? Walang nag-expect ng mga company will be closed. Ang mga company mabankrupt at mag-reduce ng mga salary. Wala pong ganyan. Ha? Sabihin niyo sa akin, may nag-expect ba na mangyayari ito during the year 2020? Wala po. Kaya nung December, nung mabasa natin na ang China nagkakaroon ng ganitong tawag COVID, ay binasa lang natin yung balita. May epekto ba sa atin? Wala. Akala natin pariho lang sa SARS na noon. Pagdating doon sa Hong Kong, bigla naman ding nawala, naglaho. So akala natin ganun. Hindi pala. This is pandemic dahil masama na ang mundo. Amen? Masama na ang mundo. Sinabi ko nga noon na magkano, ilan lang? Ilan lang ang na-save? 0.01% have been saved by the Lord. Sinabi ko na, na ang kamatayan na ating Diyos na buhay, ang kanyang banal na dugo, which He shed on the cross, was really intended for everyone, but not all want to receive Him as Lord and Savior. Hindi po lahat nakikinig sa boses ng Panginoon. Hindi po lahat gustong sumunod sa Kanya. Kaya, anong nangyayari? Ayan. Masama nga ang mundo. O, ano ang katapat? COVID. Kaya ngayon, tingnan mo, nung nag-umpisa ang COVID, naku, ibin na sa kalsada, nag-worship na ang mga tao. Bakit hindi natin ginawa yan nung nag-antay pa tayo ng COVID? Kaya, ngayon, na na-COVID na tayo, hindi na tayo magantay ng another sakuna dahil alam natin na mahirap pala. Amen? So marami na nagreklamo. Ay naku, ayaw na namin at dito kami palagi sa bahay. Ah sige, lumabas ka. Pag ma-infected ka, i-blame natin ang mga presidente, ang mga ano, may, may, wala bang warning? May warning naman ang mga presidente ng mga head of states. Pero kung sa tayo, ayaw natin na tayo ay makulong sa bahay. Gusto natin na maglakwat siya. Ayan nga. Makubid nga. Amen? So, the Lord, Yeshua Hamasaya, gave His life for everyone. I repeat ko. But, He also promised to give limitless provision of His strength to those who wanted. Kung kailangan natin. Hindi man namimilit ang Diyos. But those who do not want the Lord's help, mind you, will never receive anything from the Lord. Kung hindi natin siya kailangan, wala tayong matanggap. God, bakit? Ginawa na ni Lord ang pag-save sa atin. He already sacrificed His life. Ngayon, andyan na. Kung baga, o andito na ang pagkain, nilagay na sa silver, sa gold platter. 
eh ayaw natin i-lift ang ating kamay at aabuti natin yung pagkain na yan. Ayaw natin kainin. Ay ayaw ko mukhang pangit. Siguro walang taste. Ala, sige. Hanap ka ng may taste. Gusto kasi ang tao na may ma mabulak, mabulaklak, colorful ang buhay nila. Ha? Merong buhay dito na, ay gusto ko yan. Mag-tasting talaga ako na mag-boyfriend ako ng, ng isang dayuhan. Ah, sige. Nga. Sige. Kaya ma ma matikman natin. Kaya kung hindi tayo makatikim, hindi tayo magano eh. We will never learn. Amen? Ah, gusto ko talaga. Magpunta ako dyan sa lugar na yan. Wala, pumunta ka. Pagpunta mo doon, o oh, may nakahanda pa lang mga ano si satanas. Amen? We have to be ready. So that, saan man tayo padala ng Panginoon, we are always within Yeshua Hamaseya and we will never go out of His mantle of protection. Amen? God has no business with people out of Yeshua Hamaseya. Yan po, tandaan natin. When we are outside of the Lord, wala po siyang business. Kaya na, na, naalala ninyo, sinabi ko yan, every time mag-preach ako, hindi ako takbo na takbo. Dahil mayroong magpa-pray dito, mayroong mag-ano doon, nagkasakit, mamamatay na. Oh! Tanong ko. Hindi man ako nakakarinig kay Lord, bakit kaya? Ay hindi niya anak, pag hindi niya anak, He will not touch, He will not command. Unless ikaw mismo na nagkasakit, will kneel down and ask the Lord, Lord, makasalanan talaga ako. Patawarin mo ako, Panginoon. Save me. Ayan, talaga. Mas ma, maano pa, very fast pa kay sakit lahat. Talagang magpunta ang Panginoon to help us. Pero wala. Wala tayong repentance. Gusto ka lang na gumaling. Sana pagalingin na ako kay Lord para makapunta na naman ako ng disco. Hmm? Sana makapunta na naman ako sa mga barkada ko at magkainan na naman kami. Ay, hindi po ganyan. Amen? Minsan, hindi tayo matuto eh. Hindi tayo matuto unless we have experienced the difficulties in life. Amen? I said, I repeat, God has no business with people out of Yeshua Hamaseya. We must be in Yeshua Hamaseya so that Yeshua Hamaseya will also be in us. That's why sabi ni, ni Pablo, anong sabi ni Apostle Paul, it is no longer I, but Christ live in me. Tingnan mo, pag ang Panginoon nasa atin, ibig sabihin, nasa Panginoon din tayo, we are in Yeshua Masaya. Amen? Fourth point, destroy the devil's work. Palagi nating narinig ito. Sinabi natin, ang purpose pumunta si Lord dito, destroy the devil's work. We must know why the Lord Yeshua Hamasiya called himself as the son of man. Bakit hindi siya galing siya sa Diyos Ama? Hindi niya sinabi, I'm the son of God. Walang sinasabi siya. For the 33 and a half years that Yeshua Hamasiya lived on earth, and siya po for 3 and a half years did his public ministry, palagi po niyang minensyon, son of man. Hindi po niya sinabi, Son of God. So, bakit kaya? It is recorded that God first created the world. Even before Yeshua Masaya entered it to destroy the devil's work. Even before he came to the world, he revealed himself to Abraham and said, I will surely return to you about this time next year and Sarah, your wife, will have a Saan? Iyan po nagumpisa ang revelation ni Lord. Bumalik po tayo kay Abraham. Dahil kung hindi nang anak si Sarah at si Abraham, eh saan naman? Paano makalabas si Jesus? Paano makalabas ang Yeshua Masaya na doon po nang galing sa genealogy ni Abraham? Si Abraham po ang pinili niya. Amen? This word caused both gratitude and fear in Abraham because at that time he was 99 years old and Sarah 
his wife was 89 years old when God made this promise. So, wala na pong menstruation si Sarah. So, paano naman yan siya manganak? Di ba? Impossible kung tinan natin. It seemed utterly impossible for it to happen. Nevertheless, in faith, he welcomed the Lord's coming, wishing for the signs to appear in his old body. Ha? Inantay po niya. Kung may mangyayari ba? There is some kind of similarity between that which appeared in the body of Sarah and Mary. Sarah's conception took place in a body which was absolutely biologically unfit, whereas Mary's occurred to the body of a virgin. So pareho lang po. Wala mang gumalaw kay Mary, pero nabuo po ang bata na si Jesus. Yeshua Masiya was born through the Holy Spirit of God. Amen? Both women were the beginning and the end of Abraham's genealogy. Both women were, I repeat ko, the beginning and the end of Abraham's genealogy. Christ is the one who would come to the world according to God's promise to Abraham's genealogy. Finally, Yeshua Hamasaya came showing himself to the world. Hence, he was not a human but the incarnate Lord of promise. So siya po itong tinatawag na incarnate God of promise. Siya po yung promise na binigay ng ating Diyos sa kalangitan God the Father which He committed to whom? To Abraham. Ano ang sabi niya? <clears throat> At the same time, next year, I will come back and Sarah will have a son. Yan po ang promise niya. Finally, the Son of Man was born to the world as Christ. Christ, naintindihan ba natin ang sinasabing Christ? Jesus Christ or Yeshua Hamasaya, Yeshua and Hamasaya is also in the language of the Hebrew meaning Christ. Christ means an anointed priest or king. But it does not mean that a God becomes Christ by the anointing. A human becomes Christ when he is anointed. God anointed the Son of Man and made him head of all humankind. So the life and death of humans came to depend on him. The office of Christ is granted to humans. That is Christ as a human being. So Christ was the ministry given to the Son of Man who came to earth. So si Christ, hindi po niya apelido yan. Hindi po yan last name ni Yeshua. Anong pala yan? Ministry. Inanoint siya to to do the works of the kingdom of God. Ano yung works kailangan? Destroy the devil's work. Ano pa? Redeem the name of God. At ano pa? As a result, of the victory of the Son of Man, then man would receive what? We would receive the gift of salvation. Yun po ang ministry niya. Hindi po siya basta-basta lang pumunta dito. He came with a ministry. That was the start of the ministry na sinasabi natin ngayon. Ay, ang ministry namin ganito. Ministry namin nasa Dubai. Yan po. But Yeshua HaMasiah is the name given to the Son of God. It was Christ's death on the cross, Christ's resurrection, Christ's ascension, and Christ's glory. He is the Lord who went up to the right side of God, indwells us by His Holy Spirit, 
and came in the name Yeshua HaMasiah, translated in English as Jesus Christ. So, ano pala ang totoong pangalan natin Diyos? Yeshua HaMasiah. And when King James of England, the first king who ordered the Bible, Aramaic and Hebrew, Old Testament, Greek in the New Testament, was ordered by him to be translated for the first time into English. Yeshua Masaya, translate nila ngayon, Jesus Christ. Amen? Matthew 1, verse 21. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Yan po ang sabi. At the start of Yeshua Hamasaya's three and a half years of ministry, he served as the Christ who preached the gospel of the kingdom. One, heal the sick. Second, raise the dead. Third, back to life. And four, drove the demons from everyone who came to him for relief of the devil's oppression. Amen? Luke chapter 4, verses 40 to 44, this is the scriptural verse that I read before I started my preaching. When the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Amen? Verse 41, And demons also came out of many, crying out and saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. And he, rebuking them, did not allow them to speak, for they knew that he was the Christ. Verse 42, Now, when it was day, he departed and went into a deserted place, and the crowd sought him and came to him and tried to keep him from leaving them. Verse 43, But he said to them, I must preach the kingdom of God to the other cities also, because for this purpose I have been sent. Amen? Verse 44, And he was preaching in the synagogues of Galilee. Amen? The living Christ reached the crescendo of his service when he finally offered his life to completely destroy the devil's work and redeem God's name and gave gifts to men. Amen? 1 John chapter 3, verse 8 He who sins is of the devil for the devil has sinned from the beginning and for this purpose the Son of God, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the devil's work. Amen? Last point, do the Father's will. Yeshua Masaya said that the coming of the Son of Man was not to do his will, but to do the will of him who sent him. John chapter 6, verses 38 to 39 for I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Verse 39, This is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up at the last day. So ano pala ang will ni Lord? Anak ko! My only begotten son, go to the world, destroy the devil's work, redeem my name, and in the end, give gift to men. At ano pa ang sabi niya? Ano? Ang napag-usapan nila ng kanyang ama? That whatever God give him, anong ibig sabihin give? Lahat ng mga tao, kaluluwa na binigay niya sa ating Diyos na buhay, he should not lose nothing, walang mawala sa kanya patuloy until makapasok sa kalangitan, 
but should raise it up at the last day. Bubuhayin niya. So we are assured of the resurrection. That's why sinabi ko that in most, in my preachings in the past, sabi ko, the sign of Christianity, the mark of Christianity is not the cross, but it is the resurrection. Dahil yun po ang will ng ating Diyos na Ama, that at the last day, after He would throw the devil, Satan, into the lake of fire and all his mga kampon, anong mangyayari? She should raise it up at the last day. Buhayin niya tayong lahat na nasa kanya. Amen? Huwag natin kalimutan ng promise ng ating Diyos. He did not come to fulfill his own, but that of his father who sent him. Hindi po, wala po siyang ibang agenda. Kung hindi, ano yung inutos niya ng Diyos Ama, yun po ang sinunod ni Yeshua Hamasaya. That's why we said that He obeyed the Father up to the point of death on the cross. Wala po siyang sariling agenda. Amen? Consequently, Christ's work is greatly related to everyone in the world. Because the world is God's world, made for His will to be used accordingly. He was the Son of God who came only to do the Father's will, not to realize Israel's dream to be a hero. Amen? His authority was not personal but the Father's. His life and death depended on the Father's commandment. Kung ano ang inutos ng Diyos Ama sa Kanya, yun lang po ang Kanyang sinunod. John chapter 10, verse 17, Therefore, my Father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. Amen? Jesus distinguished His will from the Father's. From the beginning, sinipa-read po Binigay po sa Panginoon ang distinction. Iyan, I am doing this for the will of my Father. Siniparit po niya kaagad from the beginning of time. Hindi pa siya inaristo, hindi pa siya pinatay. But, He already distinguished His will from the Father's will. Saying, I did not come on my own will because He came to the world as a human. And because one could not see Him as God, but an Israelite among others. Intindihin natin ito. Bakit palagi niyang dinistinguish? I did not come on my will, but on my Father's will. Hindi kasi siya bumaba bilang Diyos. Bumaba siya bilang tao, abang servant. So, sino ngayon? Ang magbigay sa kanya ng strength, everything, pinadala ng Diyos Ama ang banal na spirito upang He will be able to fulfill the plan of God. Amen? So dahil siya po ay bumaba bilang son of man, He submitted His will to the Father. Otherwise, makilala lang natin ang Panginoon, another Israelita. Amen? Israel believed and acknowledged that God existed, was almighty through invisible, though invisible, was the creator, the provider, the judge, and the absolute one. Alam niya ng mga Israelita. Hence, Yeshua Hamasiya im, Yeshua Hamasiya emphasis on God's will only and not His. Had He come on His own will, He would have limited as an individual but not being able to accomplish the glorious public ministry of the heavenly kingdom. Kailangan po na ma-accomplish niya ang glorious public ministry of three and a half years. Amen? The devil already knew that Christ's coming had official authority and said, I know who you are. You are the Son of God. No, nagharap-harapan sila nang pumunta siya sa island of Genesaret at sinalubong siya ng isang tao na hubad 
at doon natutulog sa uh, cemetery, ano ang sabi niya? I know who you are. You are the son of God. The devil was indifferent to Yeshua Masiya as an individual. Nung siya ay hindi pa nakarating ng 30 years old, he was just a simple son of Joseph na carpenter. Nakikialam ba si Satanas? Eh wala. Wala siyang regard. Ay, tao lang yan. Because that was the time that he was completely 100% man. Ha? The devil was indifferent to Yeshua Masya as an individual. Wala siyang regard sa atin. And did not regard him with fear. Hindi natakot si Satanas. Kaya hindi niya pinakialaman si, pinakialaman si Yeshua Masya. But when his identity was disclosed, he knew that he would strike the fatal blow to his kingdom and made every effort to stand in his official way. Kaya anong ginawa ni Satanas? When he was revealed, when the Father spoke, anong sabi ni Lord during the water baptism? This is my son! Whom I am, whom I love. Amen? So nakita ni Satanas, Uy! Binigyan na ng authority ngayon sa Diyos Ama. Hindi na niya pwedeng ibaliwalain ang isang Yeshua Hamasiya na anak ng isang karpintero sa Nazaret. Iba na ito. Amen? Paano niya? Ang banal na spirito bumaba. ba diba? sabi, when he emerge out of the water Holy Spirit in the form of a dove came and alighted on him and then there was a voice that spoke from heaven that is why when Satan tempted Yeshua Hamasaya in the mountain of temptation he said to him if you are the son of God if you are the son of God he anxiously tried to deny Jesus' official status and challenged him out of fear. Natakot na siya dahil nagsalita na ang Diyos Ama. This is my son. When John the baptizer received the one who would come according to God's plan, the law and the prophets ended. Kailan natapos ang law and the prophets? When Yeshua Hamasaya was already accepted with the water baptized na ni John the baptizer and then the father said, This is my son. So when the voice from heaven was heard, after the water baptism of Yeshua Hamasaya saying, This is my son whom I love with him, I am well blessed. Amen? It refers to the law and the prophets have done their duties. So nung inintroduce ng Diyos Ama ang kanyang anak, ito po ang aking anak na nagbigay sa akin ng kasiyahan. Anong ibig sabihin? Goodbye, law and the prophets. John the baptizer was a, also a prophet. A prophet who was conceived as a prophet, lived as a prophet, born as a prophet, and died as a prophet. Sa lahat ng mga propeta ng Lord, until today as I speak, siya lang ang nasa tiyan pa. Propeta na. Paano? When Mary went to Elizabeth, binisita niya ang kanyang cousin who was six months pregnant. When, Eliz when Mary greeted Elizabeth, his cousin, Anong nangyayari? Tumalon-talon ang bata na si John the Baptizer, six months old sa ilalim ng tiyan ni Elizabeth. That was the time that the Holy Spirit went to activate ang pagkapropeta ni John the Baptizer. Amen? So that's why sinabi natin, he was conceived as a prophet. He was born as a prophet. He lived as a prophet and died as a prophet. Siya lang. Ang lahat ng mga profeta, even sila, Isaiah, Ezekiel, mga major prophets, Daniel, Ezekiel, kailan sila na profeta? Ay malaki na po 
tinawag na lang sila ni Lord. Oh, mag-prophesy ka ganito, ganito, ganyan. Ay iba, si John the Baptizer. Bakit? May sarili siyang ministry. Ano ang ministry niya? To lead the path of the people to repentance. That's why he initiated. He put into into order the baptism of repentance. Yan po ang purpose. Para pagdating ng Panginoon, may nagrepent na, namili na ngayon siya. O ikaw, come with me, follow me. Mamili ba si Lord sa mga wala nagrepent? Ay hindi ah. But dahil nakarepent na sila, they went to uh, John the Baptizer for water baptism. Hindi ka man i-water baptize ni John the Baptizer without repenting. So, ang mga tao na hinirang ni Lord, come with me, you are now. Eh, di ba sabi niya, I will make you facers of men. Maka-appoint na siya because ang kanilang puso, ang kanilang isipan, hinanda na, nag-repent na. Tapos na sila kay John the Baptizer. Amen? So, when John the Baptizer received the Son of God, when the water baptized niya, and he was, he was released from uh, the Holy Spirit was released by Abba Shiba Shammai to him, then the Holy Spirit, according to the Bible, brought him to the mountain of temptation. Doon siya nag-fasting for 40 days, 40 nights, and the devil followed. Paano nakasunod ang demonyo? Paano naka, nakasunod si Satanas? Eh, alam na niya. Dahil nangusap ang Diyos Ama, This is my son whom I love. I am well blessed. Nasiyahan ako sa anak kong ito. Amen? It refers to the law and the prophets have done their duties. Nagpakita lang ang Diyos Ama. O, oh, natapos na ngayon ang law and the prophets. Ano ba talaga ang trabaho sa mga profeta? ba? Alam na natin na by the law, kaya law and the prophets talaga yan. Ano ang batas? Sinabi natin, the law was given to Moses in Mount Sinai by, the, by God so that ang mga Israelita na, hini, na kinuha niya, hinugot niya from the bondage of slavery in Egypt would know that they are sinners. So, binigyan niya na batas. So, that is the law. Ngayon, alam nila na sila po ay makasalanan. Siyempre, dahil makasalanan ka, wala silang nakikita that any possibility na sila po ay mapunta sa kalangitan because they are now as sinners, they have no other way to go but to the lake of fire. So, mayroon pong uh, kalungkutan sa mga puso nila dahil sila po ay hindi makapunta sa kalangitan. Amen? Ngayon, I preached it earlier before wala pang COVID that. Anong ginawa ni Lord? He sent the prophets. So the prophets now was the prophets were preaching. Anong pinipreach nila? Do not be sorrowful. There is a coming Messiah. The Messiah is coming to save us. Ayan. So, nagkakaroon sila ngayon ng hope. Now, bakit sinabi ko that when Yeshua Messiah was received by John the Baptizer, then the prophets, uh, the law and the prophets ended. Bakit? Ang sabi ng propeta, there is a Messiah. Eh, dumating na Messiah. So, ano pang gagawin? Amen? Naintindihan ba natin ito? Let us understand that the law was given for the Israelites to know, for everyone of us to know that we are sinners. As sinners, we are under the law. The law will punish us and we will be condemned by the devil. Sabi ng devil, ah, nagkakasala ka dito ka sa akin. So, saan tayo pupunta? There is no place to go except the Lake of Fire. Sabi ni Satanas, oh, dito ka. Magsama-sama tayo, din makasalanan ka. Oh, nalungkot sila. Naku, makasalanan pa lang tayo. Di ba nakita natin? <coughs> Ang dami nilang mga asawa, wala silang alam eh. Ibig si Moses, daming asawa ni Moses. Hindi lang isa. Pero bakit ngayon, na hindi pala pwedeng maraming asawa? Okay, alam na natin ang batas. 
So, we were able to know ano ang tama at ano ang hindi because of the law. And the law condemns us and by condemning us, you're a sinner. You must die. Ha? Ano ang condemnation? Death. Pero sinabi natin, bago po dumating ang death na yan, na doon natin maranasan second death, doon sa impyerno, doon sa liko fire, Yeshua Masiya revealed himself. At yan ang sinasabi ng mga propeta, huwag kayong malungkot, may parating na misaya. Kaya ano nga nangyayari ngayon? Dahil hindi tinanggap ng karamihan sa mga Israelita na yun palang dumating na Yeshua Masiya was the son of God. Anong nangyayari ngayon? They are still waiting for the Messiah to come. When in fact, pagdating ng Messiah, second coming na, husgahan na ang mga tao. Amen? Kaya kung meron tayong makasusap na Israelita, we have to bring them to the feet of Yeshua Masaya. Dahil po sila po, nagantay pa sila sa Messiah. Dahil bakit nila inantay? Ayan ang promise ng mga propeta. Eh namatay na ang mga propeta without seeing Yeshua Masaya. Amen? <coughs> That's why sabi ko, in my preaching, we are even blessed. Double ang blessing natin. Why? Ni-receive natin that Yeshua Masya is there. Ano ang pangalawa? Nakita. Under the new covenant, nakita. Na mayroon talaga. Na pangalan Yeshua Masya. Nagpagaling ng mga tao. Nag-cast out ng mga demonyo. Nag-preach ng gospel. And most of all, resurrected the dead. Kaya, alam na, ay mayroon talaga. But hindi nga lahat nakatanggap. So until today, karamihan po sa mga Israelita, they are still waiting for the Messiah to come. Amen? Please, we have to understand this. So, ano ang sinasabi ko? The law and the prophets ended. Ibig sabihin, magsabi ka ngayon, so ibig sabihin, Bishop, wala na tayong batas? Meron. Pag sinabi ko, the law and the prophets ended, ibig sabihin na, ang law kasi plus the love of Jesus become the gospel. So ngayon, iba na. Ang batas, alam na natin makasalanan tayo, nilagyan ni Lord ng love. He volunteered, He obeyed the Father to die on the cross. So, anong nangyayari? Dahil, He laid down His life <clears throat> Then, ang, ang, ang law and the prophets, natapos ang ipikto. Kung baga, noon, ang bahay mo, sobrang hirap, payag. Ang payag ba yan sa Tagalog? Kuan, Kuni? Kubo. Kubo. Okay? Kubo bahay. Ngayon, nagsakripisyo tayo, nag-aral ng gabi, Ha, nagpa-hilper pala makapag-aral ng gabi. So, nagiging professional ka. So, medyo naka-abroad ka, napunta ka dito sa Dubai. Yan, nakapagpadala ng pera, naka tayo ng bahay ngayon na medyo disente. Ayan, parang ganun. Hinanda tayo ng law and the prophets before. But, pagdating ng ating Panginoon, binigyan tayo ng gift of salvation. So, tapos na. Tapos na. Amen? Pero hindi ibig sabihin na, ay sabi ni Bishop ha, the law and the prophets indeed. So, wala na palang ano, wala na palang, wala na, pa, wala na palang kaman. Uy, may kaman pa. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na tayo ay going to the lake of fire. Tapos, hindi na tayo mapunta doon. Bakit? Because the love of God has already been embellished on the law so that we receive the gospel. Amen? I hope everyone understand this. So, it refers to the law and the prophets have done their duties. Now, it is the era of the Lamb of God. Sino na ngayon ang kaninong time na ito? This is the time of Yeshua Masiya, the Lamb of God. Today, the Father's will is to give eternal life to those who belong to His Son, Yeshua Masiya. Amen? Yun ang purpose ngayon ni Lord. Nakarating ng aking anak. Binuhis na niya ang kanyang, kanyang uh, buhay. Kaya, balik ka kayo mga anak ko. John 6.29, Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, 
that you believe in Him whom He sent. Ha ha! Ano pala ang trabaho ng Panginoon? Ano ang trabaho sa Diyos? Bakit niya pinadala ang kanyang anak? After the devil's work is destroyed, we are liberated by the law that condemned us to death in the lake of fire. Ano na ngayon? Lahat na naniniwala may pan, pan, may may <coughs> nagbelieve sa kanyang anak iyan ang trabaho ng Panginoon kaya i-repeat ko John 6:29 Jesus answered and said to them This is the work of God that you believe in him whom he sent Sino ang pinadala ng Diyos Ama? Yeshua Masaya So if we believe in Yeshua Masaya that is the work of God it's fulfilled naniniwala na tayo na meron tayong Diyos na buhay so the will of Yeshua Masiya, the will of the Father is already fulfilled it's fulfilled in us Amen. anyone who is watching this live streaming now and desires to receive salvation and eternal life that God will grant to those who belong to Yeshua Masiya this is your chance to invite the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya. Amen? Declare your desire to belong to Him today while there is still time. Tomorrow might be too late. I urge you now to follow me in an audible word, the sinner's prayer to take the first step forward towards Yeshua Hamasaya. Amen. So let us pray mga mga kapuso, mga nanonood sa live streaming if you want to be within Yeshua Masaya. Dahil po God the Father will not lift his finger to save us unless we are in his son. Yeshua Masaya, let us now pray. Father God, who is in heaven above, I am grateful for your love and faithfulness to, to us. You have never left me alone, but through your Son, Jesus Christ, you have succeeded in taking me back to you. Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Help me also to forgive others, I invite you now to come, enter into my heart and dwell in it as my Lord and Savior forever. Write my name in the book of life so that on judgment day, I will be with you in the heavenly dwelling place of God, the new Jerusalem. Amen, amen, amen. <coughs> Conclusion, God is eternal. From time past, He has existed as the only God, without beginning and without end. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He has put into place an elaborate design of the life, death, and resurrection of His Son, Yeshua HaMasiah. To redeem his name, destroy the devil's war, and take back all his people to him. He came, he died, he resurrected, and ascended to his throne in heaven to reign as God of heaven and judge. He will come again to punish Satan to eternal damnation and give eternal life to all his children. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray. Father God, thank you, Father, that once again, you have reminded us that in order for us to enter the heavenly dwelling place of God, we have to receive your Son, Yeshua Masaya, as our Lord and Savior. You have reminded us that without entering in Yeshua Masaya, you cannot Give us salvation and eternal life. Thank you, Father, that day after day, you have made us realize that we need your Son, Yeshua Masaya. 
And thank you, Lord Yeshua Masaya, that today you have manifested yourself to those who we have invited, O oh Lord God, that you have prepared their hearts so that today they have received you as their Lord and Savior. Let the Holy Spirit of God, Lord, manifest in each one of us, especially those we have invited and who, whose heart you have prepared to be with you from this day onward. In the mighty name, Yeshua Masaya, I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please stand by for the response song by uh, Sister Gladys and Company. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> 